Hey everyone, welcome to Python for Kids. In this video, we're going to learn data types. Let's jump right into it. So I want to tell you guys what data types actually is. Let me give you a quick definition. Data types are the classification or categorization of data items. Data types can represent a kind of value which determines what operations can be performed on that data. Numeric, non-numeric, true or false data types are the most used data types. So over here I got an example of data types. So and this is example value and this is the type. Um, data first data type is integer. Integer is a number without decimal. While on the other side floating point is a number with a decimal. K chair. Chair is basically a character. So um, if you look at um, for example, any key, uh, all of your keys on the keyboard are actually a character. So for example, A, B, C, D, and all those stuff are characters, and even the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, even those are num are characters. And string, strings are basically words between quotes, and when you print it, the answer you get is a string. Boolean. Boolean is uh, true and false. And um, if you guys remember when we did operators and um, when we had those greater and lower, it was like um, if this is greater, it's true. If it was not, it was false. So that's ba basically the integer. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code. Okay, once you have done that, hit Control N, new, hit Control S data types dot py make sure the py is always at the end because uh, it tells it to be that it's we're going to do python and let's type in python equals to um quotes programming language okay once you have done that yes you can also do this with a single quote guys so there's two types to write a string, um, single and and uh, double, and then you want to type in print, um, Python, and the answer we're gonna get, which is programming language, is um a string, and there we go. That's a string. Like I said, the things that are between the quotes is a string guys and when we run it it's it basically tells us that's a string so that's it for string now i'm going to go ahead and explain you guys integer and float because i've already explained you a um, character and uh, also i've explained you guys boolean in the operators video so what you want to type in is um i to type in is print Make sure you guys do two brackets. Um, one type uh, uh, this side outside of the uh, bracket you want to type in int. And then on the inside you want to type in ten. And then hit Control S. Okay, what this code means? It's I'm telling this to print an integer, and the number should be ten. And integers are without decimal, so it's just gonna be ten. And as you can see, it is ten. But if I put flow. I'm basically telling the code that what it actually means is that I want a 10 with a decimal point and 10.0 there we go so if I type in 15 it's gonna give me 15.0 5 10 11 12 and it's gonna give me a bigger f amount and if I just do with integers I'm gonna get basically the number I basically just typed in because if you guys remember integer prints a normal number it doesn't have a decimal in them so int go ahead and run and 15 so that's pretty much it for today's video 
Hope so you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching watching my video. Hope so you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, comment down below. And don't forget to like this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.